Well, the temperature is hovering right around or just above freezing combined with treatment uh, put on our roadways has helped to keep them more wet than white. And you can see that even at Oakland Beach in Warwick, where we do have some wet snow continuing to fall this morning. And here's the radar showing that as well. One thing that you may notice over the last half hour or so is that rain snow line pushing northward. That trend is going to continue and should make it as far north as Providence as the morning goes on. The wider view here shows the precipitation stretching all the way back into eastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey and New York State. For us, uh, the storm track near Nantucket will bring in enough warm air that we do see that mixing and changeover near the coast first and then working its way inland by midday. So prior to that, we pick up a slushy one to possibly three inches of snow in most locations. This is where I expect that rain snow line to reach by midday today, stay mostly snow to the north and west. We're between 30 and 35 right now, so even though the snow is falling, it has that wet consistency to it. May want some rain boots at the bus stop for those that are just heading out. Expect the temperatures to climb up to the middle 30s this afternoon. By the time the kids are heading off the bus, most if not all of those showers have come to an end. Full future cast is ahead in just a few minutes. We'll be taking a look at uh, that timing again of the rain and snow transition. Here's Melissa though. How long is the commute taking people though? It's taking you a very long time to make your way into the capital city. Over two and a half hours ago, about two and a half hours ago, a truck right over here, a box truck, it tipped over right over near Thurber's Ave. Since then, it's really been a mess out there. So if you're making your way into the capital city from Jefferson Boulevard into Providence, that's taking you over an hour right now, where it should really only take you about 20 minutes or so this time of morning. If you need a couple of alternate routes, depends on where you're heading from. So if you are making your way out the door, you can always take 295 to Route 2 and then follow that through Cranston, hopping back on 95 right over near Thurber's Ave. Or you can always take 295. We are seeing some delays heading north in between exits two and six, but if you take 295 over to Route 6 into the capital city, you're still saving about 40 minutes. So before you leave the house, really want to map out your morning commute, seeing very heavy delays along 95. If you are heading out the door, not looking too bad in between Atwell's Ave and the Mass State Line, 18 minutes from the Mass State Line if you're heading south to Atwell's Ave, crossing over into Rhode Island, and delay-free along 295, along 95 in between 295 and the Connecticut State Line. Here's a look at some of your conditions along Route 6 right over here, just light traffic, snow still coming down over here, but we are seeing a lot of pavement. Wherever you're headed, you're going to need some extra time, especially if you're making your way in in between Warwick and Providence this morning. I'll have another check on your drive times coming up in about 10 minutes. Pinpoint Weather Team coverage continues now. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald bringing us an update now from Breaking News 1. That's right, we are on 195 right now. Uh, I'll give you a look at what we're seeing live on the roadways. We had been taking some of those, uh, or looking at some of the alternate routes to avoid that 95 traffic, that delay. Uh, we were on Narragansett Boulevard, which a lot of people apparently had that idea to take to take that street, so there was a little bit of a delay there. As you can see right now, the snow is falling. Most of the main roads that we've been on have just been wet, but when we've been in some neighborhoods and some of those side streets, those are looking a little bit more snow covered. Now, this is video from earlier this morning of a box truck that turned on its side at Thurber's Avenue's curve. No one was injured, according to Rhode Island State Police, but as Melissa has been saying, uh, that caused quite the delays over there. Now, the plows and salt trucks have been out all morning, and we've seen them uh, really throughout the night as well. Eyewitness News spoke with RIDOT about their snow treatment plans. We're going to get an early start on it, and we'll be out there during the commute also plowing along with the commute. Um, if everything goes according to plan, uh, during the midday and afternoon hours, we should have everything cleared by the afternoon commute. And uh, the road's in good condition, we expect. That's our mission. And Rydot is asking for people when you're out on your morning commute today, if you do come across one of the plow or salt trucks, to give them some room to be able to clear the roadways. Live in Breaking News 1, Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.